This tutorial is going to show you how to create a simple project in Visual Basic. This is meant for people who are just starting out with Visual Basic or people who are just kind of wanting to see what you can do in Visual Basic. I am going to be using the Visual Basic 2012 Express Edition. I also have Visual Basic 2010 and 2008 on, these, on this machine as well. So if you're using one of those or even one of the newer ones, it's all going to be pretty similar. Um, so we're going to need to go ahead and open up a Visual Studio. Once it loads, it's going to take you to a start screen right here. This start screen can be disabled, um, but it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of up to you, your preference. And in order to create a new uh, project, you just need to go to File, and then select New Project. This is going to create you a new Windows application. Well, that's what we're going to do. So once you click it, it's going to give you a few options on what exactly you'd like to do. And we are just going to say Templates, and then Visual Basic. Now you can do Visual C, as well, but we're just sticking with the basics for now. So we're going to say Windows Application, and uh, we're going to come down here and give it a name. <clears throat> I'm going to say um, Welcome to VV. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in the folder of my choosing. So I have one saved on my desktop. And I'm going to say Visual Basic Tutorials. So I'm going to say Save it in that folder. And I'm just going to say, okay, welcome to VB for the solution name, fine with me. It's going to load a standard form that's just going to be blank. You'll notice that it's going to have the uh, minimize, the maximize, and the close button at the top. And it's also going to just have a gray, dull background. So right here, we are now at our form. And this form here is going to be the basis for all of your controls and all of uh, what you're going to put on it. So let's just start by putting a name up here where it says Form 1. So we're going to come over here, make sure you got your form clicked. And you're going to see all these different options that you have. Make it a little bigger so we can, so we can just kind of see. You can see you've got anything from the appearance down to the behavior and even the data. All the way down. This, the window style is just going to style it to how you want. You can choose to put a little icon file in there, and that will put the icon right there. And you can just kind of change some of the other settings if you wanted to. You can just kind of play around and see what they do. But for us, we're just going to change the text, and we're going to change the name. So right here, we're going to say Form 1. Let's just say this, uh, Form Main. So FRM Main. It's always good to stick with a three-letter abbreviation, lowercase, uh, for what you're going to name tools, uh, what you're going to name uh, components, which you're going to name the forms, anything like that. And then we're going to go to text. Let's see where text might be at. Uh, right there. So form one. Let's change this to welcome to VB. All right. So now you can see as soon as I click off or hit enter, that it's going to change that text up there, and our form is also going to be changed. So this name down here. Now, in order to get to the actual code um, of this, we need to uh, either click or we can come over here and we can say properties and we can go to the, the solution explorer and all of that. So we can just easily double click on this form and it's going to take us to the load event of the code. So on this form load, uh, you can see it says form main load um, and then it's going to give you a little private sub. We can make it do something. So how about, just for starters, make it pop up a message box. You can do a message box two different ways. You can say message box dot show. All I did there was type it in, and then I used my down arrow key to select the one that I wanted, and I just hit space and automatically populated the message box. So I didn't have to type the entire word. So right here, I'm just going to say message box dot show, parentheses, and then I'm going to give it a quotation, and I'm going to say welcome to VB in quotation, in parentheses, and that's it. I can go ahead and I can debug this, I can say start, debug, and as soon as it loads, you're going to see that it has a little message box pop up. It's going to say, welcome to VB, so I can click OK, and then the form's going to load, all right? So that was just a little message box. Now let's kind of do it a different way. So we wanted to say, uh, welcome to VB. Just so I don't have to copy this, I mean, I type this again, I'm going to copy it. I say copy, well, that didn't quite work. We're going to say copy right there. You can say msg message box. 
and then just quotation, I mean parentheses and then your quotation and then what you wanted to say in parentheses and you click off and you're done, you can go ahead and start and debug again. You'll say that it still pops up the message box, welcome to VB. So click OK and you see the other form, the rest of the form loads there. And of course it's still blank because we haven't put anything on it. So we can go ahead and close out of that and we'll go ahead and delete this. We'll come back to that later. We're going to look at putting a uh, button on this form. So let's go ahead and go back to our design. So just come over here to form 1 and if you wanted to you could reload this and it will appear as FRM main, but since I already changed the name and I don't want to close out and reload, I'm just going to keep it like it is because it's not bugging me. So I'm going to go here to my toolbox, and your toolbox is what's going to contain all the tools and all of the uh, other little gadgets you might want to put, like timers, um, con uh, boxes, uh, like, uh, forms to put the boxes in, uh, like um, containers is what I'm trying to say, all these different little goodies down here. Um, background workers, all that stuff that you'll get into later. So let's go ahead and let's just stick with the basics and let's put a button and a label on. So let's just say button, and you just drag it over. All right, put it where you want it. We're just going to put it in the center here. All right, so this button, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the text in it and I'm going to say click me. And you can see that as soon as I click off of that, it's going to change the text on that button to click me. I'm going to go ahead and down here and I'm going to change its uh, name so that way when I refer to it in the code I can refer to it to uh, btn click me instead of button one so down here I'm going to say btn click me alright and click off it and we're good so that button is set so now in order to get to this uh, code for when you click that button you just need to double click it and I'll take you right there so you can see we have our private sub for our main our, our load event and now we have a private sub for button click me and it's going to handle the event, the, but, the BTN click me being clicked. So whenever we click this, let's go ahead and have it pop up a message box. So let's just say our little shortcut, an MSG box, parentheses, and welcome to Visual Basic. Welcome to VB there. So now when we load, it's not going to do anything, but now when we click that button, it's going to pop up the message box. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, mm, click the button, so click me you can see this message box appears right here. So we have our message box, we can say OK, close the message box out, and it brings back the form. Notice that whenever I click that and there's a message box being displayed, notice how the message box is the one that is up on the front, and uh, the other one's just kind of grayed out here. So the message box is taking priority over the actual form. So now you can't click anything on that form without it telling you in the message box there. You say OK, we're good, we can go ahead and close that. Now if we want to take it a step farther and we want to add another button, so we can say we can add another button, you can either go to tools and select another button, or you can just say control C and copy that button, and then control V to paste that button. It's going to paste your identical button right there, however, it's going to change the name of it. So you can see right here now we're named button 1. Well, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's change this. So let's say click me number 2. And we're going to change the actual name of the button to be BTN click me to. All right, so I can refer to it as btn click me to whenever I want to make it do something. So now that I have my second button, let's go ahead and let's make it do something different besides just do a message box. Let's go ahead and uh, let's put a label on this. So we have a label down here. We can select our label and drag it over. All right, and we'll just move our label right here. So if you notice when you select the label, you have a few options. and you can change the color of the label, change the size, change the text font, all that good stuff. But for now, all we want to do is make it say something when we click that button. So let's go ahead and let's clear that text out. This text is what you see right there, uh, label 1. We can go ahead and we can close that. If you were to run the program as of now, that label 1 would just appear and it would just say label 1. So we're going to go ahead and say we don't want it to show anything until we tell it to. So we can clear that out. And let's rename it down here to uh, LBL display. So we can just say that and click off of it. You notice that the label has disappeared or what it looks like disappeared. But if you just kind of highlight in that area, you'll see that that label is still there. It's just right there. So let's say when we click this button, click me number two, we want that label to say hello world, which is typically what the very first program you'll play with Visual Basic is going to say. So let's say click me. You notice when you double click on it, puts the, the click event right down here into a private sub. 
So right here we can go ahead and say um, LBL display dot text equals well let's say hello world and in quotations. Whatever text you want to be displayed has to be involved around quotations. Now, if you wanted quotations to be included in that text, you need to do something what's called a control character, and then you would, you would use the quotation, the control character quotation, um, and then engulf everything inside of that. That way, the quotation marks would actually show up on that label. So here we go and kind of click off that. You see, I still have that button. It's going to say "Welcome to VB," and then I still have this button here, the, the display button. So if I go ahead and I, uh, I debug this, I play this, you can see the form is going to pop up. And if I still click this, the message box is going to show. But now I can click Click Me Number 2, and that text is going to appear on that label. So I could move that label wherever I wanted to move it, and it's still going to appear. So I could say, okay, get my label there, and I want to move it up here. So we're going to move it right there. So now we can go ahead and play it, and we can click that button, and you'll see now the text appears there. This is just a short little tutorial for Visual Basic on um, just a little clicking of the buttons and just kind of getting used to creating a project and, and opening and saving one. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.